another 90 plus point ride to win his first world championship. I think that may have been it. Lemmy needs 91 and a quarter. And he did everything he could right there to end it right here. We're all going to wait for it. Look at these scores. 95 and three quarters. There is your 2020 world champion. Let me stand alone. 24 and a half rider scores across the board on a 23 plus point bowl. What, what a way to cap it for Jose Vitor Lemmy. What he has been all year long is the most exciting best bull rider in the world and that's just the way he finished it right there the rough off of that one right yeah. there that <laughs> this was about to be really really big and jose is teed off this looks great for big numbers and then louisville slugger gives up i mean just yep. plain and simple he gives up right here he thinks it's over and jose says okay i'll just ride you around the arena man <laughs> louisville slugger just started to prance around like a show pony let me more than happy to go along for the ride.
plus point ride to win his first world championship. I think that may have been it. Lemmy needs 91 and a quarter. And he did everything he could right there to end it right here. We're all gonna wait for it. Look at these scores. 95 and three quarters. There is your 2020 world champion. Lemmy stands alone. 24 and a half rider scores across the board on a 23 plus point bowl. What, what a way to cap it for Jose Vitor Lemmy. What he has been all year long is the most exciting best bull rider in the world and that's just the way he finished it right there put it down in permanent marker better yet engrave it in stone jose vitor leme just put one heck of an exclamation point on his world championship season that you're gonna wait a long long time craig to get to see a better bull ride than that by a better bull rider. All 18,000 of these fans were on their feet. The work of a lifetime has paid off. That's a special young man. It is just amazing to watch him work and to get to soak in this moment. Mac, we've done our best, right? To use, as I've often said, the superlatives to describe everything that this man can do. And I know you were asked on the pre-show, how many world titles, right? Who's gonna end up with more? Jess Lockwood of Jose Vitor Lemmy. You said on the pre-show that Lockwood's got two, and Lemmy had zero. Well, now Lemmy has a very big one. Yeah, he has got one. And, and look, I've got to watch over the past 20-plus years all of the greats that have come through the PBR. And I've not seen anybody do it in any bigger fashion than what Jose Vitor Lemmy's been in 2020. Lemmy has landed on the mountaintop and now gets to plant his flag on the top of the world. Let's send it to Kate. Jose, you've told me many times you've dreamed of this moment since you were a young kid in Brazil. Describe the emotions that come with your dream becoming your reality. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain this moment. It's uh, the best moment of my career so far. So I just thank God for all this in my life. For my family support me, all the, my friends, all the fans, thank you so much. I work hard for this and today I come to show for everybody I deserve it. <laughs> In a year of so much uncertainty, your dominance has never wavered. How proud are you of what you've been able to accomplish in this season at this time? It's, it's hard for I explain. <laughs> yeah, man, it's incredible come to ATG Stadium. I don't, I don't ride too good on this stadium a couple, couple times ago. So this time I'm very focused on win this title and come to here and make my work and do the same as I do all the year. And i just so blessed for this moment right now. Jose Vitor Lemmy, you are the 2020 PBR World Champion. Congratulations. Thank you. It is time to continue to tell the Lemmy story.
He comes down in round number four for the first time. For the first time this week in Matt. It really is, man. It gives me the goosebumps. These two have met before for 92. And there's the slightest of a blemish on Lemmy's resume this week. After Boudreau goes down, so does this year's world champion as Bullseye puts his mark on Lemmy. And that just means the championship round is yeah. going to go down to the final out. Yeah, nothing really <laughs> shifted there. That's actually really cool for our purposes. But look, these Bulls, man, there is something happening here because Bullseye always stays hooked up to the left, but they are wisening up as this week has went on, and they're finding ways to get the win. So with both Boudreaux and Lemmy bucking off, it's Eduardo Aparecido after that horrific wreck last